Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Miss Ward and Lavender. And here we are with lesson 4.3, explaining the sun's repeating pattern. Welcome back, let's get started. Man, oh man, we have been investigating for a long time as sky scientists. What if we learned about what we'll see at the sky, in the sky at the same time on a different day? Can you guys think about what we've learned so far? Go ahead and shout it out. Now remember, scientists use evidence to support their ideas. So what evidence do we have to support the idea that the sun makes the same pattern in the sky every day? There was two big pieces of evidence that we got from last time. Do you guys remember what they were? Let's see, did you say the sky mural? How about our data table? So now that we know the answer to that question, we're going to move on to the next question. So not just that the sun follows the same pattern, but why does the sun follow that same pattern in the sky every day? Why does that happen? We're going to go back to our book, What Spins? to see if we learn anything new to help us explain why the sun follows the same pattern in the sky. It's reading time, so Miss Ward needs her glasses. All right, let's get started. What spins? The ride spins. Earth spins. The ride starts and stops. Earth is always spinning. It never stops. The top spins, Earth spins. The top spins quickly, Earth spins slowly. It takes a whole day to spin around once. The fan spins, Earth spins. The fan hangs from the ceiling, Earth spins in space. Do you ever spin? See what happens when you spin. What do you see when you spin? The kid spins on the tire swing. The spinning kid sees a bench, then he sees a slide. Then he sees some trees, then he sees his friends. Then he sees the bench again. Then he sees the slide again. What will he see next? This is the part where we get to predict. What does he see after the slide? He sees the trees again. Did you guys get that one? There is a pattern to what he sees. Earth spins. Does a person on Earth see a pattern? A kid on Earth looks out at the sky. She sees the sunrise in the morning. At lunchtime, she sees the blue sky. You know, I noticed something in these pages that I didn't notice before. If you look, when she sees the sun in the morning, Look at where the sun is. Do you see that it's low in the sky? And where is the sun during lunchtime? Yeah, it's high in the sky. I didn't even notice that before. At bedtime, she sees a group of stars. She sees a different group of stars in the middle of the night. What does she see the next morning? So we get to predict again. What is she gonna see the next morning? She sees the sunrise again. There's a pattern to what she sees. We see the sun in different places during the daytime. We see the stars in different places during the nighttime. We see these patterns because the earth spins. Let's take a closer look at this last page. 
Do you guys see a pattern to what the girl sees? See how they have them numbered? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you think she's gonna see after that last picture, after picture number 10? I heard some of you say it, that she would see the stars, right? Why do you think the girl keeps seeing the same things repeating out? There was a pattern to what the girl saw just like there was a pattern to where we saw the sun. Let's do Mount Nose and to investigate why we see this pattern repeating. Mount Nose, I think, is my favorite. So remember that the, uh, the earth is your head. Okay, so your head represents the earth and your nose is a mountain on earth. So here you've got Mount Nose and the screen is going to be the sun with my sun puppet here hello okay and then the stars card which is behind me that's going to represent some stars in space okay so you're going to spin slowly and try to see the same pattern over and over again so what will you need to do to see the sunscreen, and then the stars card repeating over and over again in the same pattern. So if when you're looking at the, the screen, that's looking at the sun, and anytime you're turned directly behind you, you're looking at the stars, right? What are you gonna have to do to see that same pattern? Yeah, that's right. You're gonna have to spin around and around and around. Go ahead and spin around and around and around so that you see the sun and then behind you and then the sun and then behind you. Go ahead, spin. The girl in the book we just read, What Spins, saw the sun low in the sky and then high in the sky and then she saw stars during the nighttime and then she saw the same things again. The pattern repeated. We can use what we just did with Mount Nose to think about why the girl saw that pattern. What was happening with the earth that made her see the sun in that pattern? Over and over again. Go ahead and tell me, what was happening to the earth? I heard you say it, that the earth was spinning, right? So if the earth spinning is why we see that pattern, how could we spin to show what just one day is? How could we spin to show what just one day is? What would you guys need to do? Let's try it. So here we have the sun. Whoop, here's the sun, okay? And you're gonna stand with the sun in front of you so you're facing the screen. Okay, so that it's morning. So you're gonna pretend it's morning on Mount Nose. And I want you to spin around once to show what that person on Mount Nose would see in one day. Because how long does it take for the Earth to spin around once? Yeah, one day. So just spin around once really slowly. Go ahead. What did you see when you spun just once? How many daytimes were there? Just one, right? And how many night times? Again, just one. And that makes one day. So we just came up with our last vocabulary card, a day, right? A day is the length of time that includes one full daytime and one full night time, right? And you get one day because the earth spins around one time. Did the pattern of the sun and the stars repeat when you spun just once? 
No, I didn't, right? You only saw the stars once and you only saw the sun once. And why is that? Because you only spun around once, right? So what do you think? Do we have enough information and evidence to answer our chapter four question? What will Sai see in the sky when he calls his grandma tomorrow? Remember our question right here, our chapter four question? What do you think? Do we have enough information? Okay, let's practice communicating what we learned so that we can write our letter to Sai again. So Sai will talk to his grandma at the same time he always does. Before we predict what Sai will see, we will predict what we will see at the same times we observed before. Okay, let's do this together. I've got some sentence stems. So in the, what should we do first? In the morning, in the morning, we will see the sun blank in the sky. Where do we see the sun in the morning? Very low, low, medium high, high, or very high in the sky? the morning. Where do we see the sun? You tell me. Yeah, low. We see the sun low in the sky. And why do we see the sun low in the sky? Because Earth, what does Earth do? Yeah, it spins. So let's read this together. In the morning, we will see the sun low in the sky because Earth spins. Let's do it again. Let's do the afternoon next. In the afternoon, we will see the sun, hmm, the afternoon, that was after lunch. Where did we see the sun in the afternoon? Do you guys remember? Very low, low, medium high, high, very high. What do you guys think? I said high. You might have said very high and that would be okay too. In the afternoon, we will see the sun high in the sky because Earth what does Earth do? It spins. All right, let's read it all together. In the afternoon, we will see the sun high in the sky because Earth spins. All right, one more. Let's do the evening. This is our last one, everybody, and then we're done for the day. Okay, so we've got in the evening, Right, so right before we go to bed, we will see the sun very low, low, medium, high, high, or very high. What do you guys think? I said low. You might have said very low too, and that's okay. Um, so in the evening, we will see the sun low in the sky because Earth spins. Let's read the whole thing together. In the evening, we will see the sun low in the sky because Earth spins. Nice work, you guys. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.